Hello, James Graney here from internetbizuni.com and in this video I'm going to tell you exactly how you can massively explode your return on investment. So if your profit margins aren't quite where you want them to be, then watch this video because I'm going to be explaining exactly how you can massively explode this and give you a lot better return on the investment that you make on the products that you purchase to sell on Amazon or anywhere else online today. So what I'm going to tell you is going to benefit you whether you're selling your products on Shopify or selling them on Amazon, wherever you're selling them or wherever you're buying them. If you're purchasing products, you know, putting your own brand on them, creating amazing products and selling them to customers, then what I'm going to share with you in this video is going to massively help you and improve your profit margins. So the reason that I decided to shoot this video was because I have noticed that so many sellers out there are over depending on advertising and that's why it's suitable you know whether you sell on Shopify or you sell on Amazon because I've noticed whether it's a Shopify store owners are so over dependent on Facebook ads. Amazon owners you know people who have their business uh, mainly selling on Amazon are massively over dependent on Amazon PPC and although uh, advertising is an amazing way to bring in quick sales and it's a great way you know to get your brand off the ground it's not sustainable to solely rely on advertising to constantly bring you in new sales and new customers all of the time and the reason for this is simple because when an advertising platform is successful and both of these platforms that I've mentioned, you know, Amazon PPC and Facebook ads, these are massively successful platforms and you should be using them. They do have a purpose. But as time goes on, the cost of using these platforms continues to rise and will continue to rise because they are successful. And the more people that find out they are successful, the more people that will start using them and more of your competition will start using them. And the cost of bidding on keywords on Amazon will go up and the cost of you know getting in front of your target audience on Facebook will constantly go up and that is why I decided to shoot this video because if you are over dependent on advertising whichever platform you're advertising on then you are vulnerable and not only this but this will be eaten into your profit margin and you know you can get your product at a cost uh, but you have so many other costs to add in before you're left with your profit so you know if you're over dependent on PPC then you're going to be spending a lot of what would be your profit if you didn't have to spend on PPC or on advertising uh, you will be making a lot more of it in profit and that's what I'm going to explain now is exactly what you can do uh, to avoid this unnecessary cost all of the time so there's only one thing that you actually can do to totally eliminate this and that is get in front of a free audience and the best way to do this is to build your own audience yes uh, you can leverage someone else's audience but most of the time unless you know this person or they're willing to help you out or be in partnership with you or whatever you're going to have to build your own audience because leveraging someone else's audience is going to cost you as much money as advertising on any other channel is because again as I said with any advertising platform once people find out it's successful so whether you're using an influencer and people start seeing that this influencer is a good influencer to promote your product the more people are going to go to this influencer to promote their products and again this is going to put up the cost of their service just like on any other advertising platform and this is something that's going to happen a lot more and more in the future as more and more people will use influencer marketing and find out just how good influencer marketing is so the main reason why you should grow your own audience I'm going to jump into how you can do that in just a moment but the main reason why you should is because you have full control over the sales that you want to make so I'm going to take for an example uh, Conor McGregor you know he has a massive audience of his own people all around the world watch what he does listens to what he say so he can come out and release any brand like that you know he can start a new brand in the morning and it can be successful tomorrow evening by simply talking about it uh, people will go and check out whatever it is he's selling whether he's selling you know his own MMA gear or whether he decides to sell whiskey like he did after uh, fighting uh, Mayweather you know whatever he does people are watching so he can launch out to that audience at any time launch any amount of new products 
and get in uh, customers all of the time. Like if he does decide to actually, you know, keep going with the whiskey brand, he can just keep promoting his whiskey whenever he's talking and people will be listening and some of that audience will go over and purchase for him. And that is the big benefit, you know, of having a massive audience. But to start a massive audience, you have to start small. You know, every audience started with only a few people. And that is what is the hardest part with getting started is you're going to have to start you know with your first few people and that's not where the fun part is you know where it, of course it's a lot of fun uh, if you have thousands of people uh, watching you following you you know listening to what you say it becomes a lot of fun doing that but you have to start you know from the ground up you have to start with one or two people continuously adding value all of the time so that more and more people follow you and listen to the messages that you put out. The second reason why you should uh, consider building your own audience if you haven't already done this or if you have already done this, why you should focus more of your efforts, more of your money on building your audience is because you're not at the mercy of any marketplace or any platform. So we'll say if you're just selling on Amazon at the moment, then you are at Amazon's mercy if Amazon are sending you all the sales. So if all your sales are just coming through uh, either PPC or Amazon search, then you're at Amazon's mercy. They can decide to kick you off. They can decide to change their algorithm so that you'll drop right down. Whatever they decide, you're at their mercy. Whereas if you have your own audience, then you can simply set up your own website and start selling from that. And you can just direct sales from wherever it is that you're building your audience to wherever you're making the sales and it's no problem if Amazon decide to you know push you down in their their search algorithm or kick you off because you can continue to grow your sales because you can continue to make sales to your audience wherever they are based by sending them to wherever you're making the sales. The third reason why you should be building your own audience is because it's a lot easier to get feedback or reviews or whatever you way you want to get it if you have a connection with the audience. So for an example, if you follow someone online and they you purchase one of their products and they decide to ask you for a review, you're a lot more likely to leave a review for them. Whereas if you just buy a random product off Amazon, you're going to be getting their emails all the time, review this product, review this product, and you've no connection built up with them. So you're not inclined to leave a review off the product. And that's simply how it works is if you have a connection with someone, if you know them better before making the sale, then you've a lot more of a chance of doing whatever they ask you to do in the follow-up, whether it's to leave a review or to simply give them feedback or give them ideas for product improvement. Again, you won't bother if you don't have any connection with them. Whereas if you do have a connection with them, if you have seen a lot of their content in the past, you have connected with them you know, off the sales platform that you purchased with them on, then you have a lot more chance of doing this, giving them ideas. You buy into their brand, you'll give them ideas to make their products better because you feel a part of it. And that is how it works. And all of that leads to your brand getting a better uh, reputation online, which again is becoming so important nowadays, is that your brand's reputation is good online and that you have control over it. Because if you're just making sales through a sales channel, then you have very little control over your reputation because like that anyone can simply leave a review uh, on Amazon letting them know what they think of your product whereas if you have a connection built with them if you built a brand around your products you have control over that audience then again you can have a lot more control over the reputation that your brand has online okay so now you know most of the reasons why you should be building your own audience but the one that's really going to hit home, it hits home, you know, for any business person is that your profit margin is going to massively improve as your audience size grows. And this is for the simple reason that you can send free traffic to any of your products that are related to the audience that you're building. So again, back to the dog training one. If you have built an audience within, you know, the dog training niche, then you are going to be able to send this traffic to any of your audience for a lot lower cost than you are 
if you're paying for advertising. So if you're paying for Facebook ads, you have to pay to get out front of this audience. If you're paying for Amazon PPC advertising, you have to pay for every click that you get on your ad. Again, if you're using uh, influencers, you're going to have to pay the influencers to promote your products. Whereas when it's your own audience, this is 100% free. So you might be thinking it's a lot of work, you know, building my own audience, uh, building this audience for my brand, but it's well worth it because you will be able to make, uh, you know, a lot more return on investment on your sales in the future because you won't have this advertising cost that you currently have. And that is why it's worth paying attention to. And that is why it's worth starting if you haven't started building an audience for your brand already. And you know, you hear so many people on about it these days, build your personal brand, but it really doesn't matter whether you're a personnel trying to grow your personal brand or you're a business trying to grow the brand of your business. Either way, it's the same thing. It's getting on front of people for free compared to if you don't have uh, an audience anywhere for your brand, then you're going to be paying to get in front of these people time and time again, which is massively going to decrease your profit margin on your products and stunt your business growth. Whereas if you can get on front of your audience for free, this is going to massively improve your profit margin and allow you to build a much bigger business a lot faster than you would if you were solely reliant on advertising. Okay, so that's all of the reasons why you should uh, start creating an audience or if you have started, that you should focus more of your attention on building your audience and building a good relationship with your audience. But now you're probably asking, how do I do that? And that's why I created a video showing you how to do it using Facebook groups. And if you don't know what Facebook groups are, they're simply a, a place where a lot of like-minded people hang out. So whatever interest it is, you know, one time this was done on like forums and, and you know, different blogs around the internet, but now it's most of it is done on Facebook. So you can set up a group around any niche or around any interest and people that are interested in this uh, subject will join your group. So the key with this is uh, to be specific with what the interest is and have it related to the product that you sell. I have a full video that goes through all of this that actually shows you how to do it. And I will link that up in the description so you can check it out. But Facebook groups are an amazing way to start building your audience. Like it's okay if you're like Conor McGregor or you're Coca-Cola or you know, you're a big brand that has attention elsewhere, then you can uh, connect with your audience everywhere. You can be on TV, you can be on the radio, you can be, you know, if you have a big YouTube channel, you can be on YouTube. But if you don't uh, have a, a relationship with people anywhere else at the moment, then the most straightforward way is by building a group around the interest, around a common interest, so that other people who share this common interest will join your group. And this way you can start building a relationship with these people and of course not all of these people are going to purchase your product and that doesn't matter you know what matters is that you have a good group that's adding value to people because a certain amount of these people will like if you set up a group around dog training giving dog training tips the people will come in see that there's great tips in this group and then they'll be more open to listening about your product you know whether it's just a pinned post you have in the group about your product or whether you're posting about it regularly they'll be more inclined to listen about your product because you have already added value to them by providing this group that has given them tips you know on how to train their dog and you have already proven that you know what you're talking about in this market so they are going to trust your product more than any other random product on Amazon because you have proven that you know what you're talking about already and added value to them already. So that's what I do. I'll drop a link down in the description uh, to that video so that you can check it out and see exactly what I do mean uh, by Facebook groups, but they are an extremely powerful way to get started uh, connecting and building your own audience and growing your brand's reputation online today. So the unique private label course is currently closed at the moment. Uh, but again, if you've interest in joining that when it reopens, leave your email address uh, down, click on the link down in the description for the unique private label course and leave your email address there and I will notify you when I open it. And as well as that, the advanced private label course, which I'm working on, 
you know, as much as I possibly can to get it out there and open again. And hopefully we'll have it open again soon. Do the same with that. If you're interested in that, uh, click on the link for the advanced private label course down in the description and leave your email address and I will notify you as soon as I reopen that. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I look forward to speaking to you on the next one. Bye.